This is a quick, great quality voiceover vlog about my mom buying her dream car. And although this may be my 17th time recording these lines because I want to have great quality with my dialogue and commentary, and the lack of footage due to new computer reset resorting to the loss of saved files computer technical difficulties, <sighs> sometimes I want to leave some unedited lines just so you guys can really witness how many times I have to re-record my lines. <laughs> Still gonna keep that positive entertaining energy for you since this is a voiceover after all and you don't really have to hear all that muffle and wind noise as in a regular recording my mom has been procrastinating about a black bmw for about seven years now as far as i can remember and she's visited pretty much every local bmw dealership in the city this past weekend she finally narrowed it down to three bmw vehicles two of which consist of the same model Apologies about the lack of footage for this day, indeed I actually had some, when all three vehicles were lined up side by side after test driving, pretty much just trying to make that final decision. I'm going to quickly recap over all three, talk about the pros and cons, and explain why I knew this exact BMW would outshine and sell over the other two. First touching over the similarities, other than the BMW badge and the dual nostrils, all three were 2021 models equipped with blind spot monitoring and all wheel drive. See the thing is that it simply had to check these mandatory boxes it had to be a black bmw so it only makes sense that two out of these three vehicles that we're looking at were black i know i said pros and cons but mainly cons since we are looking to disqualify another similarity note is that all three vehicles are retired loaners and they have extended warranty loaner being a vehicle in which a service customer is issued if they still have dealership warranty on their vehicle that's in service then once that loaner vehicle reaches that dealership specific mile limit, they retire it, sell it with discounts as well as extended warranties. Anyway, let's talk about the first car, the 2021-228i. Now, this car, the cons, which simply pretty much just based on cons, I never really understood what exactly to call this car. I mean, just from looking at it, I like to call it a station wagon because of the way, you know, the back end kind of tapers down and the surface you have on top of the trunk. It's like, it doesn't really seem like a sedan, but I'm pretty sure it's in the compact sedan segment. It's front wheel drive based. So like I said, uh, hopefully I said earlier in the video, all these vehicles, all these three cars are all wheel drive, preferably rear wheel drive over front wheel drive. If there's no, you know, you know all wheel or four wheel, whatever the case is. That's what this car is. It's a front wheel drive based vehicle. Also, um, another con, is, am I saying that right? Con, for, what, anyway, I'm gonna leave all this because this is like raw edit, right? This is raw take right here. Anyways, some more cons about this car is uh, the fact that it has, it has keyless entry, but it doesn't have remote start. And I'm not sure how BMW works. If you don't have remote start, can you restart it from your, can you still start it from your phone? I don't know. In most cases, with most vehicles, that is not the case. Another thing is that these windows are frameless on this car, so it's like a convertible. When you open the door, the window kind of drops down just a little bit so it can um, go underneath the weather stripping and all that stuff to protect that. But over time, you know, a window that moves is just simply going to wear out and long-term reliability, as far as wind noise and leaks and stuff like that, it's just not really in your best long-term investment. So I'd rather have just a traditional framed window. So that's pretty much the biggest um, cons about this car. It's just, and it's it's kind of a new platform. You know, it's not really like the 330i's that we're about to talk about in a second, where it's pretty much been around for quite some time. But this car is still kind of sort of new, and I'm just not really sure as far as like long-term reliability. This may not be the best case. So that was pretty much where I stopped it right there. You know, it's it's just that car wasn't really the best bet. The second vehicle we're going to talk about was this 2021 330i which featured this really weird different pale aqua green color not even sure what bmw calls it probably would be you know better quality if i actually knew what the color was called for the sake of this video but we're going to skip that for now i think the main thing that drug her to this car was the fact that it was clean because they just brought it out from detailing pictures and all that good stuff they parked it right next to the rest of them and also it had the black kidney grill Cause you know, she's, I mean, it's just black, black, black. It's just pretty much all about black and that black grill, that black kidney grill just pretty much or nostril grill, whatever you want to call it, just kind of set it off in her mind. And I don't think she was really looking at the overall color because it was nowhere near black. It was sort of kind of dark, but it wasn't black. And I knew like if it, if it's not black, she's going to get tired of it real quick. So it's gotta be black. I don't even know why she was looking at this color in the first place. And the interior of this car, it had the fixed 
digital gauge cluster. So it's like it's like it had the gauge cluster that featured like the chrome lines that would kind of outline where like your temperature gauge would go and your tachometer, your speedometer and your your all that stuff was kind of it was it was the lines that had it fixed in place. And it was still a screen, so it was kind of like a mix between the two. And also, the infotainment screen was a little smaller than the black 330i that you're seeing right now. So it was, you know, I didn't really like this. You know, it was just, but it did have remote starting keyless entry. All right, let's talk about the last but not least is what most people would say during this time of a presentation. This black 330i was the best of all worlds because number one, not only was it black, the black wheels were an after purchase deal didn't have keyless entry but it had remote start which was definitely preferred over the two fully digital screened gauge cluster and larger infotainment screen as for all 330i's that exist it contains rear wheel drive as to why i didn't have to mention it on the aqua green but most importantly that i mentioned it was black and don't even get me started how on delivery day it was almost replaced by a brand new 550i hybrid that was on the showroom as far as all the miles and pricings i'll keep that contained for confidential personal reasons as far as the dealership experience it was pretty much excellent Take that from a former salesman made us look like pretty much of course you're still gonna get that classic dealership experience where they add a whole laundry list of warranties making it pretty obvious that the msrp you saw was just nothing but eye candy